Hi, welcome back to Villefranche sur Mer on a beautiful summer's afternoon. Now, one of the questions I often get asked on this channel is where should we stay in Villefranche? Well, in this video, I'm going to attempt to answer that question because we're going to look at three different apartments. We're going to look at a studio apartment with a mezzanine sleeping pod. We're going to look at a two bedroom apartment in the heart of the old town also. And we're going to look at a high end three bedroom condo with its own swimming pool. So if you want to know where to stay and crucially what to pay, stick with us. Now before we get started, quick reminder to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to receive notifications when videos like this all about life in the south of France drop, which is twice a week. So we're now in the marketplace in Villefranche and we're going to look at our first apartment. Now this apartment is a, a lovely studio apartment right in the centre of town and it's run by someone who may be familiar to viewers of this channel. Mr. Boo, how are you? Oh, hi, how are you? Fancy meeting you here. What are the chances? So this is your apartment, or this is the apartment that you run? Yeah, come and check it out. Come inside. Okay. So here we are in this cute one bedroom duplex in the heart of the old town. Um, it's got everything you need for your short stay or a long stay. Um, we've got fitted kitchen. It's a bit like a boat. Everything's kind of built into the walls. And so the secret cupboards and secret storage, uh, there's a secret dishwasher, fridge, microwave, everything you need. Um, sofa bed, um, transparent chairs to kind of give a bit more idea of space, um, views over the marketplace and views over the Cocteau Chapel, popular with Very your nice. channel. Uh, and a sea view. I mean, look out there, you can see the boats looking gorgeous and you can sit and have your breakfast and, and look out at the water or look down at the square and see everything that's going on. Um, it's a little bathroom hidden here. Oh, can't get in, I have to come round. Oh, nice. And it's got everything you need. Well, I don't know if we can both fit in, but it's got everything you need. Again, shower, more storage, perfect. And then I'll take you upstairs. Oh, do that. Again, sticking with the boat theme, cables and nautical touches. Oh, how cute. So, double bed. Secret storage in here. We've got a washer dryer in there, as well as hanging space for your clothes. And um, cute lights, more storage, beach towels and things in here, TV to watch in bed. And depending on how much of an exhibitionist you are, you are, um, there's a sliding uh, curtain here to keep you uh, from being seen on the street. Mm, but we've got normal curtains too. And we've got normal curtains and we've got traditional Villefranche shutters. Oh. And aircon, air which con. is very rare in the old town. That's very rare in the old town. So, it's very nice. It's very, I'd be very happy staying in here for a week. I think it's very lovely, very modern, everything you need, very fresh and light and airy. And the big question is, how much is it? It is in season, 100 euros a night. 100 so, euros a night. In, in season is what? Season is from mid-June to mid-September. Okay, and how out of season? Down to 65 euros a night, a real bargain. So as cheap as 65 euros a night? Yep. Very good, and if, you, if, if someone didn't want to stay in this apartment, do you have others on your books? Funny you should ask, I have a lot. I manage 10 apartments in Villefranche, and Montbaron, and Beaulieu. So, so we'll, we'll put coast. a link in, in the description to your uh, 
to your 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 your, your uh, well, what your email? My empire. Your empire. We'll put a link in there. Very good. So, and what's this apartment called? This apartment is called Hermes Palace. Hermes Palace. Why is it called that? All the apartments have a different name, and to find out why this one is called Hermes Palace, you just need to book. So we're now headed right into the heart of the old town, onto Rupalu, which is the sort of old main street, the street where all the soldiers used to come down uh, in World War I when they got off the trains to come down and get onto the, um, onto the boat. And we're going to see Sebastian, who runs the local bar. But as well as running the local bar, he also runs a very lovely Airbnb. So let's go see Sebastian and uh, check it out. So Sebastian, you've lived in Villefranche all your life, haven't you? Yes, <laughs> most of my life. Most of your life. Yes. Uh, and you, you're going to show us your Airbnb, which is relatively new. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, how would you describe Villefranche? Uh, Villefranche is like a... Uh, Small casual town. Uh, we can came with family, even like uh, all age. It's like you can find everything here around. So to me, it's like one of the best area we can find. Yeah. And because uh, we're close to Monaco, close, we're to, close nice. to Monaco, we're between Nice and Monaco. Even if you like the ski, we are like just one hour drive to go to the ski as well in the winter time. Uh, you can enjoy and chill in Villefranche and when you want to move a little bit like to Nice or Monaco it's like just 10 minutes so no no it's really perfect just position to me yeah and you're gonna show us your Airbnb absolutely a pleasure take it away yeah good thing with uh, having Sebastian as your landlord <laughs> is he quite literally is a landlord because he runs this bar here See, so you get to, you get a bar right next to your Airbnb. How oh, lovely! So show us round. Yeah. Out here we've got. Lovely view of Rupalu, which is the main street of Villefranche. Used to have traffic coming down here, unbelievably, but not anymore. What have we got? So we have the dressing room here. Yeah. So this is a oh, little dressing this is the room. Dressing room, yeah. Cool. So his and hers wardrobes, or his and his wardrobes, or her and hers. The small bedroom. Small bedroom, very nice. Nice comfy bed, I'll do the bed test. Oh yeah, I'm asleep already. It's perfect. <laughs> TV. Yes, so we have the other room. TV, internet. TV, internet, fiber, everything. Fiber. Everything. Okay. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Vital in August. Vital in July and August here. And then maybe a little bit of September. Mm. You have the main bedroom here. Cool. Lovely. Yes, yes. It's quite big. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah? Mm, really big. Yeah, it's around 60 meters square, something like 60 this. 60 square meters? Yeah. And this room is nice because you've got the, the high. Yeah, lovely sort of traditional vaulted ceilings, traditional beams. Um, but some nice modern touches. Yeah. Nice modern coffee table and uh, concrete light, very groovy. Another air conditioner in here. Yeah. Some uh, filing cabinets. Yeah. I think they're drawers, really. Kitchen. Kitchen. So we've got a uh, little little cook little oven. Yeah, oven. Uh, Four-ring stove, extractor, washing machine. Yeah. Microwave. Microwave, fridge. Fridge. And bathroom. And bathroom. With a nice shower and 
all the things you need in a bathroom. Fantastic. Yeah, it's much bigger than I thought. Yeah. Weird. Very nice. I could move in here. So, how how much is this uh, in, say, July and August? Uh, July and August, we are around 120 euro a night. Okay. And after in the Lao season, so after October, we are around 69 euro a night. Okay. So, not expensive. And if you no, no, we're quite cheap because it's the first year. We're going to try what happened and. Uh, yeah. We are fully booked now till end of September. Right. So uh, now we're happy. So, yeah. Uh, it's a good thing. Very good. And and I mean this could take four people. This could, so you have two bedroom uh, with two double beds and we have a sofa there, but we didn't mention the sofa. It's convertible, right. Right. but maybe for one kid, it's like it's a big family. Yeah. But we say four people on Airbnb, but actually we can be like five or six. Yeah. So if you have four people in here, 130 a night, that, you know, that sort of works out at about uh, 40, 30, 30, 30 euros each. So it really isn't expensive. Um, people always presume that the south of France is expensive. It need not be. So when, when is this apartment next available? Uh, I think I have to check it's around October now. October, great, and we'll put a link in the description and we'll put a link so that uh, people can contact you and book. Yes, perfect, appreciate it. Great, fantastic, thank you for showing us your Airbnb. My pleasure. On y va. On y va. Allez, go. Allez. So that was uh, Sebastian's Airbnb. Here's the link to it, uh, and it uh, looks like a pretty good choice to me. In the heart of the old town, as they say, a stone's throw from the beach, and uh, near to all the bars and restaurants. So we've now come out of the village, uh, and we're on a road which is sort of heading up towards the uh, Hotel Versailles, if you know Villefranche. And we're going to look at an apartment block and at a really spectacular apartment which is uh, run by an American lady called Molly. Uh, and we're gonna see what it looks like if you splash the cash in Villefranche, because this is high end. So I think the entrance to the building is through here. This is a very nice communal lobby with Bit of art, bit of art, we like that. So I'm now going to meet Molly, who is uh, going to show us around this fantastic apartment. I hope if Molly's in. Hello, welcome. Molly, <laughs> fancy finding you here. How are you? I'm very well, thank you for showing us around. Welcome to Le Rage Jardin. It's a three bedroom house that's been redone in 2016. Yeah. And this is the lovely gourmet kitchen. Yeah. Great place to have a chef come and prepare things for a crowd. It's uh, everyone gathers around here for their parties. Uh, it has a wine fridge, which is a nice addition. And then all the little bells and whistles as far as coffee machines, freezers, the whole thing. So well equipped for someone who likes to cook. Okay, and how many people can this apartment accommodate? Seven to eight. Right, wow. Say it's seven, uh, six adults and then I have, I can put in extra beds if there's children. Right, fantastic. We've had large groups here before. Yeah. So this is the little dining area. Uh, most people will sit outside at the big table. Yeah. Uh, because it's covered, you always are able to sit out there even if it's drizzling a bit. And then this is the nice open lounge with the view. Yeah. And all the windows, you can see they open into the walls. And so you get a real feel of it being indoor-outdoor, which was the part of the design of the apartment. Yeah. Uh, smart TV, chargers, wireless speakers, all those fun things. 
And we tried to do kind of touches of wood and softer things because it's a very contemporary apartment, uh, just to make it feel a little more warm, a little more French. Yeah, fantastic. And then this is the master bedroom. And that has a fantastic view. Uh, same thing with a large opening, you just right out into the garden. Yeah. And lovely buildings, lots of, lots and lots of storage. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, my favorite beautiful doors made especially in Italy and they have their own little stamp on them. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love that little, uh, the little detail on that. Uh, nice, really nice quality bed. And then uh, in here's the master bathroom, which is compact, but we were able to fit in a, a tub and shower. Uh, this is a very unique, um, it's actually not marble, it's a it's tile sheets, right. and they, uh, they come from Italy, and it took two days for them to install them. Wow, that's really nice. And awesome. those are really lovely. And double sinks, which is always nice. Yeah. Heated towel racks. It's got everything. <laughs> when can I and move in? <laughs> <laughs> come, well, we have, I have a lot of people who come back. Yeah. This is a place that people just want to stay it's over got, and over again. It's got a very relaxed feel as well. I think because it's so airy, because the, the door, as you say, the, the outside comes in, it just yeah. feels very chilled. The very family quiet. who owns it has small children. Well, they're bigger now. And so we designed everything to be very durable, right. so it's, which makes it good for a rental. You yeah, know, you yeah. can just mop the floors down. There's nothing too precious right, except right. the telescope. So there's, <laughs> there's a, the little bath. Yeah. So this corner's nice. You can actually, this is the guest, ba this is the bathroom people would use if you're in the apartment. But you could close this door and this can be a completely private second right, suite. Right. So this has a shower. Wow. Heated Huge towel shower. racks. And then this, every room has the same build-ins. So right. there's lots of, it kind of cuts down on having to put too much furniture yeah. also yeah. in the rooms. And then this room has a lovely view. Um, it's, we call it the bird room. And it can be two twin beds. Uh, normally it's the grandparents' room, so we do it with two twin beds, but it can also be a king bed. And then you have a lovely view from the bed also. Fantastic. So the bonus room, which is the children's room, is in the back. Right. It's way bigger than it looks when you first come in, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a little, oh, I just, I'll just show you this little, nice, there's a little laundry room here okay. in the middle. Okay, fantastic. Washer dryer, which is yeah. very practical. Yeah. And then this little corner is the kids' corner, and this is actually an interior room, but it's very well ventilated, uh, it's very cool and quiet. Yeah. I, so I do have some adults that love this room because they just want you know, no light and they sleep really well yeah, here. Yeah, I love this roof light. It gives you the impression it? it's got an actual roof light, doesn't it? You know, yeah. it's, it's Well, we, tr we tried to do like three levels of lighting and so it didn't feel like a cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it, um, it I, eventually, I had initially envisioned this being painted as sky, uh, but <laughs> for the moment, uh, that hasn't happened. Right. But I think that might be an interesting addition. Yeah, yeah. And then it has its own ensuite, which is a really nice large bathroom. And it has a big walk-in Italian shower with a seat. And we've kind of modified this uh, for the grandparents with the handles here. So it's a, a, not officially handicapped, but a little bit handicapped. Right, just right. if someone needs that. So, and is, a, is the actual apartment building wheelchair accessible? So, yes. Yeah. So actually, this is one of the few apartments that is level with the elevator. Right. Because everything's on a half floor. Right. So this works really well if you have a walker or a, a wheelchair. Because that's quite rare in Villefranche. Very rare. <laughs> and also there's secure parking in the garage. Right. So you right. can get in and out very so easily. So it's a good apartment, you'd say, for probably for older people as well. I think it's great for retirees. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have most, most of my guests will come and stay a month or six weeks. Yeah. And they really... Even if it's for a couple, you, you just don't use this end of the apartment. You just use this part of the apartment. It's not like you're rambling around in a large yeah, yeah. villa. Yeah, it's yeah. very doable. But also yeah. we've had groups of seven or eight with kids everywhere. And there's uh, tons of outdoor space and places for people to 
have their own privacy. Yeah, this is exciting. The outside. The outside is really wonderful. So this is entirely private garden. Entirely private, 200 square meters. Right. And it's a wraparound. Yeah. And so the front, you have a little bit of lawn to kind of hang out there. Uh, the lavender's just finishing right now. That was really spectacular last month. And this table can easily seat 10 people if needed. There's been a lot of very good parties here. <laughs> <laughs> and then this part of the garden is kind of tropical. It's not like you would go up there and spend time necessarily, yeah. but it's very beautiful and lush. And we have a pond with a couple fish. Wow. <laughs> What are they, goldfish? They're, well, they're black, and they, they hide all the time. Right. And so this, everything kind of connects. You can open up all the windows. Um, we've got a gas barbecue. The pizza oven is in need of repair, but um, it's cute, though. that's possible that that's going to happen. And then we've got a little herb garden going and mint and things. So people who come usually like to cook and this is a beautiful place to stay and eat in. Uh, it's very well located within Villefranche because you're very close to a few good restaurants and all the commerce. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and it's sort of midway between Villefranche and uh, the top, what I was, would call the Avenue Sidicano or the, the, the main road into Nice and Monaco. Yeah, it, well, it's like five minutes to get to the bakery. Yeah. You don't need, everyone regrets renting a car because it's so easy to walk to everything. Yeah. yeah. And that's really one of the reasons the owner bought the place is because he wanted to be someplace not up on the hill where you had to hike, you know, yeah. to get to anything. That's what so, I always feel. Like you, some of the properties you can get up on there, they're, they're bigger, you get more space, but you're just that bit more isolated and everything yeah. needs a car. It's much yeah. more like being in LA or something, isn't yeah. it? You, know, you don't want to take a car everywhere, especially if you're going out to dinner. Yeah. And there's fabulous, two really wonderful restaurants right on the seafront that you're there in 10 minutes. Yeah. And very easy to get up and down. It's also, you can hear, it's just dead quiet here. Yeah. It's a very really quiet, quiet residence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, since this is on an end, it kind of has the feel of being a villa, but it's an apartment. Yeah. Uh, this is the only ho one that has access to the pool. Right. Uh, well, everyone has access to the pool, but we have direct access. So this has got private access. Yes. Right. Oh, let's look at the pool. Yeah. So come on down. So how many other apartments are there in the building? There's 12 apartments. Right. And I, the, I have three apartments that are for seasonal rental. Right. And hopefully get a chance to show you the third floor. Yeah, we'll certainly put connections see, and links see, in the good, description. This is a good view of the building itself. Yeah. And it's a, a 1970s building, but very well maintained. Yeah. Very you got a little, time. this is a little sun spot. This is where you get the sun at the end yeah. of the day. So we put a little table there. And then we have a lovely pool. So this is the private entrance to the pool. Right. So the other residents would come through the gate here. Right. And then this is the access to the garage. Right. So this is very convenient, especially if you have small children just to come right in. Yeah. It's not a heated pool, but in the summer it's not necessary for no, it to be heated. Definitely not today. <laughs> yeah. And you can see with all the um, plants and things, it's a very, still very private in the garden if there's other people here at the pool. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So. <laughs> and the million dollar question is, how much will it cost me for, a, say, a week here in high season? Uh, 3,000 euros for the 3,000 euros. And, but it can take up to eight people, seven, eight people, you said? If, I'd say, let's say six adults and then extraneous children. Right. So if, if there's a big enough party of you, that doesn't work out. It, it's not super, super expensive, is it? If there's a couple of you, it's quite... It, it, no, it's I quite think it's very, it's very... We tried to not... I always look at the prices of what's going on in Villefranche and try to stay current with that. Right. Also, if you had a big group, um, it's this, the other one that I have is this third floor with the balcony. And so you could split two families and stay in the same building and then like have your dinners here and then go back. So that's, that's happened a few times with groups, especially from America, when they want to come with grandparents and, you know, whole and family members. Yeah, yeah. That works out really well. Fantastic. Well, I think it's amazing.
Thank you for Great. showing us around. It's a lovely um, place. We'll uh, we'll put links in the description below so that you can uh, you can book. So there you have it. That gives you an idea of what's available on the rental market in Villefranche. Uh, any hoteliers out there who are interested in me doing a video on uh, the hotels that are available in Villefranche, please get in touch. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to receive notifications when new videos drop, which is twice a week, Sunday and midweek. Keep smiling, take care, bye.